Alrighty guys, good to be back, good to be back, time to continue to grind. Let's see what's the first weapon of this year. Oh, let's just spin the magic wheel. What do we get today is the question. Oh, it was close to hitting Bloodhound's Fang. Instead, we get another Gargoyle weapon, almost back to back. We get the Black Blades, which is a Twin Blade, I believe. Is this Valiant Garx weapon as well? No, okay, so this is dropped by BBK at Forbidden Lands, but it's a fate. Weapon. Oh, so there's holy damage. Split damage, physical, and holy. Which isn't the best for my runs anyways, because the end game bosses obviously resist holy damage a lot. It should be alright still. It's a cool weapon. And it's a new game plus. Let's just fire up Elden Ring then. So, if you are a new beaver, I'm doing this insane challenge where I'm trying to beat the game with every single weapon there is. The idea is that I can use only one weapon per run, but I'm not allowing myself to use any kind of mods or cheats, so I have to acquire each weapon in its natural in-game location. If I need to kill something in order to obtain the weapon, then I can use a different weapon for that purpose. But if the weapon is only obtainable by defeating a major boss, then I'm doing the run in a new game plus. Before all the new game plus runs, I sell all my items except the weapon and the armor of my choice to make it as close as possible for a standard new game run. I also randomize the weapon selection every time using my trusty magic wheel. If you like the idea and want to support the challenge, the best way is to give the video a thumbs up, drop your thoughts in the comments down below and subscribe to the channel. But now, let's get back to the video. What weapon do we want to use? Kill the BBK. We need a bit of faith, so we could go for Winged Scythe. Wouldn't need to respec. Let's take Winged Scythe, I think. Oh, level strength next, I guess. We can always respec as well if we want to. I haven't fought BBK in ages, so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> At least we have a plus 10 weapon, so. Should be just fine, I guess. Although, does this guy like resist holy? Probably. So not an amazing weapon choice. At least the damage really isn't that amazing. <laughs> okay, I don't want to get hit by that. I have no idea actually how to dodge that. Master Claws! But there we go. Okay, yeah, this weapon really wasn't the best idea <laughs> uh, for this fight. Yeah, well fuck this guy, what the hell. I definitely dodged that one. Fuck this guy, honestly. Why did I pick this weapon to be? <laughs> this fucking guy. No, 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 I'm just dead. Yep. But now we have to actually kill this dude. With a weapon that is one of the shittiest options to be hit this guy, it seems. Stupid choice, honestly. Thought it would be fine, no matter what weapon we pick. But that definitely was not the case. That roar is stupid. No, I didn't want to immediately repose. Fine. Bro. So it's randomized every time. On my YouTube channel you can all see all the weapons we have done so far. Okay, there we fucking finally. Go. There we go, 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 there we go. That was actually quite a smooth fight. There we go, that's finally the weapon. Gargoyles, Black Blades, acquired. We gotta fight him again uh, in New Game Plus to get another one of these. After we have beaten all the <laughs> bosses before him, obviously. Let's go sell all our shit and then we can start 
the actual run. I really like the cape. I think I'm gonna keep it. It's almost like a Darth Maul cosplay, you know? So we begin journey number two. Yeah, the split holy damage, I can say that can be an issue. You can always aim for the Deadless run. <laughs> we'll see if we can finally get that. Probably not. It's also a somber weapon, which is cool. What talismans do we go for? I'll ask Claw Talisman for the power stance build, if we're gonna do it later on. Also, shut up, get it. Millicent guest again. Oh yeah, we could go for prosthesis. Yeah, probably wing sword insignia and then Millicent prosthesis, I don't know. We could also go for the holy scorpion charm or whatever it's called. Since this weapon actually does quite a lot of holy damage. Probably also gonna go ritual subtalism as we always can do. Guess we could go for the strength here in the beginning because we only had 26 strength. So what up topes? Power stance means oh, I'm gonna die. Well, I guess deadless. <laughs> Why is it always this jump? We go plus four right now. Yeah, I like the moveset though. Some really fast swings for sure. Wind sword insignia and. And Millicent Prostus is gonna be good. Just such a shame that it's. Lead damage, holy and physical. Otherwise, this could be a decent weapon, but probably not gonna be that amazing. What about the charge attack? Hm. All right, I guess. Ah, we go. Wind Zod Insignia. Yeah, let's go for the Holy Scorpion Charm. Might as well do it already. Anastasia, Anastasia. Why does it take so long for this guy <laughs> to spawn every time? Spinish last works pretty well against invaders. There we go. Sacred Scorpion Charm, there we go. Alright. No! On the march. What did we put to the physic again? Strength and green spiel. Yeah, I guess. Time to fight march. It's a new game plus march, so it's... It's a tanky motherfucker. Holy shit, yeah, that damage really isn't amazing. Guess he has some holy resistant. Obviously like every single main boss in this game almost. I can't get too excited about the fast swings, also I have to remember the dodge. Bro. Stop with the projectiles. Wow! I have to say, this is one of the most challenging market fights. Because the damage is so low. This new game plus. The market is actually tanky. Gotta be careful here. Not to die. Oh, no, 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 no,
go. Take it easy, take it easy, take it easy. Alright, there we go. Let's try nonetheless, but that was actually not that easy. <laughs> Tanky Margit with a holy weapon. Ooh. Actually surprisingly challenging. Let's put on the Sacred Scorpion Charm. At least Godric doesn't resist that much holy. Probably resists it a bit, I think. I think we're ready. Fight Godric. Probably gonna be easier than Margit. I couldn't see anything because of the tombstones though. <laughs> I do like the champ attack though. I don't think I've gotten hit by Godric this many times ever. <laughs> Damage really isn't good. It's quite garbage in there. How did I get hit by that? For fuck's sake. Why did it oh, fucking backstab? I definitely didn't want to do that. It's honestly like the longest Godric fight since Hand Ballista or something. <laughs> Holy shit, that took a while. The damage is not good. I have to remember these guys are tankier in New Game Plus, but still. What a big We're gonna go plus six now. Then we're gonna fight for a Daniel. Plus six, Cargo's Black Blades. Now the Radon. Guys, <laughs> really can't see anything during this fight, like ever. That was a very convenient stagger, I have to say. Extremely convenient stagger, <laughs> just before the second phase. Yeah, that killed a lot of those guys. Let me fucking finish you, okay? Thank you. There we go. Now my smoothest fight, I'll admit. Um, Millicent prosthesis, that's the next thing. That's me clicking the wrong screen. 
I'm missing easy hits. This attack is so stupid, honestly. I started to hate this boss fight. Early <laughs> All he does is that fucking rotten kick. And the spirits are so annoying. And his moveset is just dumb. Easy to dodge, but annoying when he does the rot things. No, 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 I don't have stamina. Stop it with the uh, axe swings, just die. That's probably the most annoying part of this guest line, actually. Well, this is good practice against this guy. I said I'm really not that good at fighting. Yeah, but still. Don't know how to move it very well. Fuck. No, 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 no. Oof. That was a bit close. Sorry, my lady. Close your eyes, chat. There we go. Millicent prosthesis. And what the fuck do we do next? I guess just DTS. Let's see. How's the damage? Actually, not that bad. Get the buffs. Ooh, just gotta be careful. I'm in a dodge. I really should probably level up some endrons next. This shit requires a lot of stamina. Constantly swinging. Alright, that wasn't too bad. It's actually better damage than I thought, for sure. That lightning strike is, like, really difficult to dodge. Done it maybe once in all these 42 runs. And of course you guys... Okay. This guy's a savage. Oh, what the fuck? I have 10 endurance. Well, that's the reason why... I was wondering how am I out of stamina all the time. For some reason, I didn't, like, level up endurance at all, it seems like, when I did uh, winged sides run. What the fuck? Well, we're definitely gonna go endurance next. What is that? Then, no wonder I've been out of breath all the time. All right, gold free time. Oh, wait, oh, okay, bro.
Constantly out of stamina though. Really annoying. Really lucky stagger. I'll take it. I'll take it. Goodbye, Goldfrey. Alright, I think we're gonna go get the rich of the placement before more goods here. Get some more endurance for sure. Holy shit. You know what? Charge attacks could be actually quite good as well. Maybe, you know, charge talisman. Combined with the talismans we have. Because the charge attack also gets multiple times. Right now we're rocking these four, I guess. I guess Morgat. Yeah, I think we're ready for this shit. There we go, good. Now it might be a tad bit more difficult. Because that damage really wasn't amazing. <laughs> the all the talisman buffs we have. Okay, I don't like this place. <laughs> Let's get the fuck away from the corner. What? Ah, we go. That was still fine. I've actually started to like the Morgoth fight more and more about this challenge. Give me some more endurance, honestly. <laughs> Get me to 20. Nice. Time to fight the BBG again. Although, first we need to upgrade the weapon. Then we might want to change the Sacred Scorpion charm to Claw Talisman, maybe. We have so many damage boosting talismans. Like, well, all of them are. Here we go again. Honestly, I think this is better damage than what we had with the winged side. At least quite like similar. Holy shit, but he hits hard. We probably have a better build though with this weapon than what we did with. With
There we go. That's more like it. First try this time. Honestly, the wing side was just horrible for this fight. <laughs> Probably could not have picked it. First weapon. There we go. Two gargoyles, black blades, plus nine. Pretty awesome. There we go. Well, this man, I guess. How much does the sacred scorpion charm boost the holy damage? I guess we just want to change that still. We have pretty good talismans. I think we are ready. Also, fire giant does not resist holy, at least not by that much. So against this guy, we should deal quite good damage. Expecting good things. What a big boy. Ready to get. You have to remember this is a new game plus for a giant as well. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's some good damage when you can connect with all of those. I'll take it. I'll level will take it. Oh, what a stagger as well. No, there was a fucking fireball, I didn't realize. Oh, that's such a shame. We almost could have, like, killed him right there if we got one more jump attack. Nice, nice. That was that was amazing. <laughs> I can't lie. I can only see the YouTube comments complaining about me using Boba Stance jump builds every time. <laughs> I mean, I get it. It can get a bit boring. But that was really good. I really wanted to try that out. I haven't died to any of the bosses, but, <laughs> but I have tried. I have died to regular regular mobs and to gravity a few times. That's how it usually goes nowadays. On the Farrow Missoula. <laughs> now that I think think about it, I'd actually want to rewatch all my runs and see if there has been a single run where I didn't die to gravity at least once. I'm not sure whether there is. One day, one day we're gonna get that deadless run. I promise. Holy no 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 I can't die here. I would take it to Grace. This is why I always take this Grace. We're doing the run again. Alright, get skin duo. Time to get absolutely destroyed. That was an interesting throw. <laughs> Did not mean to throw it like that. <laughs> Alright. Sleepy sleepy. Time to go. No stagger. Much a shame. Oh, we don't need no stagger. Oh, you actually almost got me there. <laughs> Fucking hell, gotta be careful. I guess skinny, we didn't connect with all the all the hits. With less damage. We'll find them. Do 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 Yep, easy guys can do them. This kind of builds just melt these guys. But I'm gonna use just one against Malagas. Gonna change Claw Talisman to Sacred Scorpion Charm, I guess. Even if Maligat resists holy damage, <laughs> that's the damage type we deal. I'm gonna do Maligat with just one, one sword. Wow, that deals a lot of damage. Shit. 
Yeah, the damage isn't amazing, but it's better than I thought. Guess we have a good build though. Ooh. No. Are you kidding me? How did that projectile actually hit me? I'm pretty sure I dodged that. I disagree. I disagree. I thought I dodged just in time. Apparently I didn't. That's sad. I always feel sad when I die against my guess. Better base clutch him on at least this time. No way you went for that. Mm, you usually go for the easy variation and um oh, what? How did I die again? Uh, that was hitless until I died. <laughs> I did the spinning thingy there. Usually when you're close enough, it goes for the easier one where it just jumps. And now he did the spinning thing. It's the one attack he does that I don't know how to dodge because it's so rare. I'm usually positioned better, so it never goes for that attack, but now he did. And that cost me my kickless run, I'm pissed that I got hit with the first fucking attack. Okay. <sighs> no, no, no. What? I did not get killed by him again. Oh, I really should... Oh, this is a sad day, this is a sad day. Honestly, <laughs> I promise I'm not this bad. I'm not this bad. <laughs> I promise I'm so much better against Maligat usually. I normally fucking destroy Maligat and now it's, now it's this. Yeah, it's not the greatest damage. Without the right talismans, it would be actually like shit damage. Um.
There we go, fucking hell. Good, Malagets fight them. Just should have been first try, honestly. We died four times against Malagets. When was the last time? The last time we died this many times, <laughs> 15 times. Yeah, this has to be the great bow, right? Yeah. If we take only melee weapons, the last time was over here with 11 deaths with the Golden Order Greatsword. Weapon number 13. Yeah, just strength still. Uh, we have fought enough gargoyles though for one run. So if you could just mind, just gonna grab this real quick. Okay, bro, stop shouting. Not polite. There we go. Two plus tens. Gideon time. We get to smack Gideon around. Always fun. Mm. It wasn't great. We missed so many hits. <laughs> this is not a big target. But there we go. <laughs> Itless Gideon. Woo woo woo. God, for should be fun though. Maligate was the first boss we also died to. We haven't died to any of the other bosses. But we then died four times against Maligate, of course. Sadly. Anyways, good free time. Risky to go for the jump attack stun. Want to get hit? I don't like getting hit. What? Okay, I can do that. Show him. I'm just being really chill doing these easy attacks only. I don't mind. I get to finish with a repost. Nice. Thank you, Harold. You're being extremely cooperative. Oh, so, there we go, actually. We were able to get more strength and dex, finally. I mean, we have strength zero on, I guess, but still. One more to go. Now it's even more sad that I've died to Maligas. Get up a beam. Um. Deadless run against the bosses. But it wasn't. Honestly, really should have not reposted him then. Would have been able to do so much more damage with the jump attacks. <laughs> you can connect with all hits, it's stupidly high damage. Especially when this guy resists 80% holy damage. You consider that, yeah, holy, holy indeed. Pretty strong talismans we have.
trying to get stagger with charge attacks there, but you cancel the Elden Stars. It's a good idea actually, Ben. Now I'm torn between Holy Weapon Melts Radagon or Rasmus likes Fire Giant's feet. <laughs> Not sure which one would be better clickbait. Jesus, there we are. Also, like, connect with all of the hits and some good damage. There we go. There goes Black Blades. And Done. For a split holy physical damage weapon, it wasn't that bad. Obviously, we had very strong build for it. I have to remember that it struggled a bit against Margit and Godric in the beginning, which is something that most weapons don't do. Where does Cargo's Black Blades fit? Uh, it wasn't amazing. Twin Blade. The first one was Twin Night Shards. That was definitely better. I think I want to put it below Golem's Hobbard, but just above Ripple Blade. Yeah. For a Twin Blade, not amazing. Mainly. Probably because of this split holy damage, but well, that's it for today's run. You know that really, if you enjoyed the video and want to support the channel, please hit the like button and some comment down below. It really does help YouTube algorithm to share the videos with others as well. And if you don't want to miss future runs like this, then I recommend hitting the subscribe button and follow button on Twitch as well. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next video with the next weapon. But until then, it is good. Bye.